Morning America. It's 8 a.m. and TGIF. Plus, it's the most popular recipe ever online. Now, the man behind the lasagna the whole world wants reveals his secret. Good Morning America! Good Morning America continues live from Times Square with Robin, George, Josh, Sam, and Lara. And what an aggressive good morning from John Chandler right there this morning. You see what he's handing out there? A little early dinner here. It's called the world's greatest lasagna. That's what he wow. called it anyway. Put it online. The most popular recipe online ever. We're going to have a lot more of it this morning. And I can't wait to meet him after that good morning. Yeah, I know. He seems like a fun, fun guy. He's got a hand gesture. I know, exactly. And he's... We want smell of vision just by what he's doing. A lovely audience, but don't give them all of our lasagna. I know, really. Save some for us. And if you guys, you can smell the lasagna out here as soon as you walk out the door. The entire place smells like lasagna. That's coming up. And we do have what Sam just talked about, the world's best lasagna recipe here. The mastermind behind it, sharing his secrets. And yes, we're eating all that. And then we're going to dance it off with DJ Pro Style on GMA. So uh, also burning up the heat index today, one man dared to call his recipe for lasagna the world's best. Smells well, guess what, guys? It turned out apparently to be true, at least according to allrecipes.com, the largest English language food site in the world. ABC's Melissa Rycroft put that recipe to the test. Take a look. Mmm, mmm, delicious, ooey, gooey lasagna. What's not to love? What if I told you that this lasagna is the world's best? Is your mouth watering yet? We're here at the home of the world's best lasagna. Let's check it out. Hi, Hi. I'm Melissa. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Come on in. Oh, it smells good already. John Chandler's secret to success We're was on. all in the title. He called his 2001 recipe world's best lasagna, and the internet ate it up. The tongue-in-cheek name helped propel it to the top of Google searches everywhere. The recipe has been number one on allrecipes.com since it was posted 12 years ago. It's been rated five stars almost 9,000 times, and it's been viewed more than 12 million times in the last five years alone. And get this, Chandler, the husband and dad to two boys, isn't even Italian. He's Southern. I'm a home cook that would prefer to be by the grill instead of by the stove. Let's whip up a batch ourselves. Fresh garlic goes into a pot along with chopped onions, then ground beef and sweet Italian sausage. It smells so good already. Next, lots of tomatoes and seasonings. A layer of sauce goes into the pan first, then a layer of noodles, now cheese, and more cheese. My mouth is just salivating. So what's the secret that makes this recipe so popular? All the ingredients are found at either your local grocery store or in your pantry. There's no kitchen trickery. It's not like you need a special piece of equipment or a food processor or something most people would be uncomfortable with. Mm -hmm. There you go. Wash your hands. Perfection on its way. Let it bake at 375 for 50 minutes. No peeking. It's almost ready. Three, two, one. All that's left to do is taste it. Uh, that's a good assignment. And here now with his signature dish is John Chandler himself, bearing, of course, the world's best lasagna. Hi, John. Hi. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. We are so happy to meet you. You gave the most robust Good Morning America ever. Thank you. Thank you. I've been practicing for weeks. It was Thank great. You, good, sir. So as, as you uh, tempt us with your incredible dish, we want to know what what do you think it is about your lasagna that has made it? One more for Oh, Brady. <laughs> no, I would never leave you out. Sorry, Amy. Thank you. What do you think it is, John? I think that it, what makes it special, it's a very simple, easy recipe mm -hmm. that everyone can appreciate and that everyone has in their pantry the things to make this. So it's not, you don't need special mm -hmm. equipment, you don't need mm -hmm. a master's in cooking. You mm -hmm. can go to the grocery store, buy everything and make it. And I think it's just, it's a it's, simple comfort food. It's important that the edges are, are nice and crispy yes, like that. Agreed. The cheese has the crispy mm -hmm. top. This is... I like the sauce, too. It's really good. It is really, really so good. good. I love, though, that, you know, before it became the world's most popular recipe, you actually called it the world's best lasagna. You were just, you were going there. I uh, did it kind of as a tongue-in-cheek joke when you name something uh, online, you could fill in the title for them. And uh -huh, I wasn't right? going to call it John's lasagna or name something. Uh, I did it tongue-in-cheek. I had no idea that it How would bring me... How quickly did it take off? Mm. 
It's been number one for on, on allrecipes.com since 2001. They, they, <laughs> no way. They, 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 40,000 hits since then. It's in Australia. It's, you know, it's kind of like Gordon Ramsay who? Like, it's... <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, like it. Uh, but uh, it, it, you know, it's in the past two weeks since the Washington Post did the research and found out it was the most popular recipe well, on the internet. It's delicious. It's gonna yeah. feel great for you to know that all these people have had your recipe. I, you know, and I think the thing that's flattering is, is that people have made it their own, so they've yeah. changed it. Oh. They've added red wine or they've added rosemary, so it's not just my lasagna. Everyone is shared in it. Well, it's our well congratulations, John. Thanks. World's best lasagna. If you want the recipe, yeah. just go to our website, GoodMorningAmerica.com on Yahoo, yeah. and also check out the new magazine recipes. I, I, yeah. Check it out. <laughs> it, hold on. It's called... Who among these girls will have the courage to say, if no one will change the world...